I want to read another article to you. The website is Charisma Magazine. The name of the article is Five Clear Signs Witchcraft is Attacking You Right Now. It is by Jennifer LeClaire. Okay. Obviously, there is a spiritual force that the Bible is warning us about. It causes us to take leave of our senses. Witchcraft releases strong confusion against our minds so that Jesus is not the clear focus of our lives. Once that happens, we are more vulnerable to the vain imaginations the enemy whispers to our souls. We have a responsibility <clears throat> to know about this spiritual wickedness and guard ourselves against it. With that said, here are eight signs you are under a witchcraft attack right now. Number one, confusion. Witchcraft makes you question yourself, question your friends, question your leaders, question God. When witchcraft attacks, it's difficult to make sound decisions. You may forget your keys, forget important appointments, or even forget what the word says. When strong confusion hits your mind, you can be sure it's not coming from God. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Number two, trouble paying attention. When witchcraft attacks, it can feel like your mind is scrambled like an egg. You have trouble staying focused on the task at hand. Your mind wanders to and fro. You just can't keep a train of thought or pay attention to what you are hearing or reading. It can be difficult to hear from God and discern the devil. We must walk in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober and watchful because your adversary, the devil, walks around as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Number three, wanting to hide in your cave. I like my cave. I like being alone with God. But when I feel tempted to hide in my cave, rather than face the world, when I feel like David when he said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. For then I would fly away and be at rest. Psalm 55 and 6. I know I'm under attack. When Jezebel sent a messenger of fear with a word curse threatening Elijah's life, he ran scared and left his servant behind, sat in a cave and wished he was dead. That's a witchcraft attack. Number four, forgetting who you really are. You are a child of the King. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. You are blessed coming in and blessed going out. Everything you put your hands to prospers. That's your legal position. But when witchcraft attacks, you feel like a worthless worm. You forget who you are in Christ have little to no interest in the world, church, praise, worship, or the like. You may feel guilt, condemnation, or self-pity. Number five, 
discouraged, depressed, and ready to quit. We all get discouraged from time to time, but when witchcraft attacks, you may just want to throw in the towel. Send your resignation letter to God, quit, give up, cozy up in bed, and pull the covers over your head. The devil comes to wear you out. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. Yet the Bible commands us not to grow weary in well-doing and promises we'll reap a harvest if we don't give up. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. There's no tension but let's be clear, the devil is trying to steal your harvest. Don't let him. So let me stop there. And this is five clear signs witchcraft is attacking you right now. God bless.